space and go to the space station. Find somebody to talk to. I usually I pick somebody over here. Despite their unfamiliar words, there is something about this alien's manner that implies we've met before. Perhaps they know the one who came before me. So that traveler who um, I'm finding all his stuff, he apparently came to this space station and now let me ask about it. The life form pauses before turning away. They either did not hear me or are choosing to ignore my question. So I talk to him again. The alien's elegant metallic shell springs to life as I approach. They study me, lights flashing around their visor. Perhaps they know something about the message left at the base computer. I ask about the 16 number. A glazed look passes over the life form's visor. The number has had some strange effect on them. They seem reluctant to speak further. You know, this seems just a little bit different. All right, let me talk to him again. The metallic being chatters away, pouring forth words in a language I cannot understand. But when I blink, I see the same red light that stared at me at the distress beacon. I repeat 16. He says, we are watching you, traveler friend. Find what we have left you. Though the alien speaks, the words are not their own. A string of code is echoed back to me through the red glare logged directly to my exosuit. The crimson light fades away, and I see the life form staring at me through its visor. Whatever has happened, they do not appear to have seen it. I should leave. Perhaps my base computer would be able to make something of this code. All right, it says, visit technology merchants, upgrade your ship and equipment, Visit the cartographer for directions to outposts and other buildings. Take missions from the mission agent to earn valuable rewards. And use the teleporter to instantly return to your base. I right click to continue. Okay, first, under discoveries, I make sure it's all uploaded. So I have 400 nanites. Now on my multi-tool, I have four slots. I'll need to install the bolt caster, which means I will need at least 200 co copper for the 100 chromatic metal. All right, I would go to the exosuit merchant first. Journey milestone accomplished. Drifter traveled 10 KS. Yeah, do a lot of walking at the beginning to get those milestones out of the way. You might as well as you lose a lot of launch fuel. You, you know, your launch fuel runs kind of short. That's why I planted my base near a free launch pad. E on the exosuit thing a second time. And uh, I'm going to complete this 4x4 four four box. Now it costs 5,000 units, but I got two of them in this star, uh, star system because I went to the space station before going to the planet. Okay, now... Let's go look... Um, See what weapon uh, weapon is here. Okay, this has 15 slots, 
So if we can just get about a little more than a million, we would be able to double from eight slots to 15. That would be a, a reasonable upgrade. Okay, so we need to get money. There are different ways to do that. Mm. Alright, I'll tell you, maybe we'll add the scanner module. A C-Class won't give us that much extra. Alright, let's do it. Because we can... I'll show you some. We'll get the scanner module. Leaves us with 325 nanites. And we'll install that. Install it right next to your other scanner because it tends to uh, be a little better. All right, it'll increase the scan radius. But notice, if I press the middle mouse wheel, I'll get 40, I'll dismantle it, but I'll get 40 chromatic metal and, wire, and a wiring loom. So I'll need some wiring looms later. So it's okay to spend a few nanites to get something cheap right now because you can destroy it and use the wiring room. Uh, all right, another thing, let's go to the options. You see it says um, rename current save. So I'll rename the current save and I'm gonna call it Theophilus. Okay, and we'll um, return to the game. Alright, is there anything else I want to do right now? No. So let's... You go back to the teleport and go back to your base. I'll be thinking of ways to make money. Notice there's no um, design inside the teleporter. That's a little odd. There's definitely some things not quite right. Now. Okay, notice the symbol above, the red-white symbol above the base computer. Archives terminated. Select new task. Alright, begin decryption. Decoding 161616. 16, 16. Message follows. The traveler finds their wings. Fly to us and claim your place among the stars. All right, I believe this will begin where I search for the hyperdrive, to make the hyperdrive. All right, signal acquired, life signs detected. Reach the decoded coordinates. All right. Approximate location looks like it's on the planet. Your plane should be located near the teleport. Alright. I need to refill launch fuel. So... Launch fuel requires dihydrogen and a metal plate. So I make a metal plate and click launch fuel because I have the dihydrogen and then click the launch thruster and it puts you up to 100%. Oh, um, there are things I could sell to make a little bit. The left shift key, it goes a little quicker. 
If it's further away, you can go out into the outer atmosphere and use the space bar to warp. Now notice I will have to land and look for it. But because the weather is good, I chose a paradise planet for my starting base. I will be able to walk around without, um, without triggering my hazardous um, eat a land without triggering the hazardous protection. Just in case I die, let me stick the salvage data on the starship. Okay, use F to find the item. Once I get there, actually let me, let me see. Hey, there's copper. Let's go grab some of that while we're here. So, if you get a chance, pick up copper along the way. And you see there is our destination. After you get this, the next thing it will require you to do is to get microprocessors. But I do recommend you um, you gather whatever the freighter has buried. If you want to call your ship, you can use the navigation data there. Okay. Log damage. Partial records available. The signal has led me to the wreck of a freighter. Colossal fragments of metal scattered across the landscape. Were these messages nothing but the misfiring circuits of a long forgotten ruin? Nestled among the debris, I find the pilot's log, blinking, awaiting input. So I request the log. Instead of displaying the ship's log, the terminal spits out a strange sequence of numbers. They are followed by a short message. The anomaly comes for the stars take flight. A schematic for a hyperdrive is attached to the end of the message. I take the blueprint. I pull the blueprint from the computer, but this hyperdrive blueprint is for a conventional starship, not a freighter of this size. Someone placed this here after the crash, hoping it would be found. Notice it requires five microprocessors and 125 chromatic metal. So you're going to need copper, 250 copper for the chromatic metal. And you're going to need five microprocessors, which will cost you money if you, you go buy it. So I start by searching around the cargo pod. Um, I think, let me give you a way, a pattern to search through this. Go in underneath, inside, use F to your left. You see the cargo pod here? Oh, that's outside, actually. There's usually one in here. Okay, if you walk on top of this, you'll see there's a damaged plate. Go to your mining beam, destroy the plate, then go to your terrain manipulator and clear the area around. Then use E to trigger the circular part. Move away from the item because it will release radiation. radiation protection. Okay, when your radiation goes back up, head back in 
and go to the left of that. How about that? Okay, you'll need to use your jetpack to get up on here. Switch to your mining beam, destroy the damage panel on the left. Repeat, go to the circle, E to open it. Remove whatever is need, you need to to open it. Okay, when you get something out, move away from radiation there protection. so that the radiation does not uh, hurt you. Now go to the other side. notice there's another damaged panel. Make sure you're on your mining beam and destroy the damaged panel. These all appear to have nanites. Radiation protection. Now, I thought there was one under the ground in here. Here, there is. The one in the ground can be a little bit of a pain. There's, you see the metal plate here? Back up, shoot the side of the metal plate. If you look under the metal plate, you see there's a damage panel. Go down there. Shoot it with the mining beam. Switch back to the terrain manipulator. You see that glowing red? Clear the rock around this item. When you look on the side, you see here's the entrance to the cargo pod. I tried to show someone else this, but I... Oh yeah, get out of there so the radiation doesn't kill you. Make sure you remember how to get out. Radiation protection. Okay, so I just earned units from that. So you see you're going to need to buy microprocessors. If you open these cargo things, you may get some of the money you need. Um, if you go outside, let me see if I remember correctly. Under this angled thing here, there's usually one under there. You look under here, use the F, and you see there's a cargo pod. Oh, get out of the area. other side of the freighter, if I remember correctly. that has a hazardous environment, you'd be dealing with that as well here. So being on a paradise planet makes this a little simpler. Well, sort
sort of paradise plant. All right, antimatter. I'll need. You'll need that to um, make warp fuel. While I head back to the spaceship, I'm going to go check out the copper. Okay, I've gathered basic resources, including copper and other items. So I'm at 1,500 carbon, 1,100 ferrite does 800 soda sodium and about 250 oxygen using x i'll move the slime and goop to the starship i'll also move the antimatter to the starship as that is used to make the launch fuel now install the hyperdrive in the middle somewhere You'll need 125 chromatic metal. Um, I also want to make the bulk caster, which is 100 chromatic metal. So 100 plus 125 is 225. That will require 450 copper to make enough for both those items. So put your refiner down. Right. So it suggests we go to the space station. Now, if I I got the third um what is it milestones the next one for being on foot I'll need to get 5,000 more to be at 20,000 Okay, we need to buy five microprocessors. We can buy four of them. Product received. We need 110,000. So go to sell. Switch to the spaceship. We'll sell the living slime. Yes, I'll sell the facium, yes, the residual yes, group, yes, and the viscous received. fluids. The convergence cube. We don't really yes, use that received. much. 
Oh, we're at 40,000 units there. I was looking at the nanites. So we need 60,000 more. All right, let's sell two salvage, salvage data. Wait, one salvage data will put us close. Okay, I need about 9,000 more. The indium's hard to get, so I don't want to sell that. Let's just sell one Gek relic. And that will give us enough to buy a microprocessor. Okay, now it wants me to refine chromatic metal. to install the hyperdrive. I thought I already put that in there. Let's look. Yeah, it is. Let's put the microprocessors in there. Auto diagnostics report. Hyperdrive successfully installed. Hyperdrive fuel status empty. Okay, without warp cells, I'll be going nowhere. I need to find a source of any antimatter. Tune scanner to antimatter. All right, um, we will get fuel for the hyperdrive and launch into outer space probably in the next episode. Thank you for watching.